Calcium by Whitney Stocks. How was calcium discovered? Sir Humphrey Davy of England, one of the founders of modern chemistry, discovered calcium. In 1807, Humphrey Davy tested his hypothesis that salts were made up of positive and negative components. He ran an electric current through the different solutions to see how they would react. This test failed because all he made was electrolyzed water. Throughout the year, he tested many different solutions. In the year 1808, he ran an electric current through a moist mixture of lime and red oxide of mercury. After he distilled the mercury, it left behind a grayish-white metal, calcium, named after the Latin word lime. What is the background of calcium? This is the most abundant mineral in the human body. Calcium represents 40% of all the minerals in the body. More than 99% of calcium in the body is used for growth and development. 99% of calcium in the body is found in the bones and the teeth. The other 1% is found in the blood and soft tissue. The main component of hydroxylapatite is calcium, which is a crystalline compound that is responsible for the structure and hardness of the bone. Calcium is necessary for many different processes, not just a strong role in bone health. Why is calcium important? Calcium should be an essential part of a pregnant mother's diet. The mineral assists in the baby's bone structure development and also in establishing a normal heart rhythm. During pregnancy, the mother should consume enough calcium for both herself and the baby to help the baby's body develop and, be, and keep her calcium levels where they should be. An increased intake of calcium in the early years of an adult's life will help the rise of osteoporosis decrease. High bone mass should be achieved during growth and early adulthood. The greater the bone mass, the longer the bone injury can be delayed when age is increasing. Calcium is, in, is needed in a person's body because living cells are required, require it to survive. Calcium assists in regulating cellular metabolic function by influencing the activity of en enzymes and hormonal response. Adequate intake of calcium can reduce the risk of colon or rectum cancer, but could increase the risk of prostate cancer. A lot of kidney stones are rich in calcium oxalate. According to the National Institute of Health, studies have shown that the higher intakes of calcium from dietary supplements are linked to the greater risk of kidney stones, even more so in older adults, although calcium-enriched foods seem to not have an effect on kidney stones. The National Institute of Health website also says that studies have shown that more calcium helps lower body weight or could reduce weight gain over time, although studies have found that calcium from foods or dietary supplements may have no effect on the body weight and the amount of body fat. What roles does calcium play? Calcium assists in nerve transmission by releasing neurotransmitters and allows ions to flow in and out of the nerve cells. It is also essential for the formation of blood clots. Without the calcium, a person could bleed out because the blood won't clot as fast as it should. The maintenance of the integrity of the cell membrane is functioned by calcium. Also, the regulating glucose concentration and keeping blood pressure normal. In which food is calcium found? Everyone knows that milk is a great source of calcium. However, these are some foods that are also calcium rich that people may not know about. According to the National Osteoporosis Foundation, two calcium rich foods include one whole grain orange has an estimated 55 milligrams of calcium and an eight ounce serving of broccoli gives a person an estimated 60 milligrams of calcium. One seafood option is a three ounce serving of canned sardines that has an estimated 325 milligrams. Three calcium rich foods in the dairy category include eight ounces of milk estimating 300 milligrams of calcium. Vanilla frozen yogurt has an estimated of 105 milligrams in an eight ounce serving. And lastly, in a one ounce serving of American cheese, there is an estimated 195 milligrams of calcium. Most grains can contribute calcium into the diet. They contain small amounts of calcium and are consumed frequently by people. 
How does calcium interact with different nutrients? Calcium and vitamin D together play a critical role in bone mineralization process. Vitamin D is crucial in maximizing gut absorption of calcium with the vitamin D dependent calcium receptors. The major determinant of urinary calcium loss is dietary sodium. If you intake a high amount of sodium, there is an increase of calcium loss in the urine. This, it is projected that each extra gram of sodium that is consumed will, will produce 1% of additional bone loss. A way to enhance intestinal calcium absorption would be to increase the amount of dietary protein that a person consumes in their diet. An increase of protein with an adequate amount of calcium and vitamin D do not affect the risk of fra fractures. A low calcium phosphorus rations have been shown to increase parathyroid hormone secretion, hormone secretion and also urinary calcium excretion. Phosphorus intakes include Phosphorus intakes included in cola soft drinks and food additives will increase risk to bone health if substituted for calcium-rich products. These are the recommended consumption amounts. It is found on the National Institute of Health website, which shows the recommended dietary allowances for calcium. What are the effects of underconsumption or toxicity? If calcium levels in the body are not adequate, the blood calcium concentration of the body decreases, and three hormonally controlled actions reestablish the calcium blood levels. One, bones release calcium. Two, intestines absorb more calcium. And three, the kidneys retain more calcium in the blood. Even if there is poor dietary intake of calcium, it is not likely to result in low blood calcium. If there is ever an instance that blood calcium does fall below the critical point, muscles are not able to relax after contraction, and the nerve function is dis disrupted, also called tetany. Many young adults are choosing to drink sugar caffeinated drinks instead of milk. This is setting them up for a greater risk of osteoporosis later in life. An excessive amount of calcium can increase the risk of the following. High blood pressure and urinary calcium concentrations, irritability, headache, and kidney failure.